How do you know if you should do a post-bac program as a pre-med or a special master's program? That's what we're going to go over in this video. So a lot of students that are pre-meds that don't do well or even decent during their undergraduate years. This is our first exam in the entire semester. I have to memorize a stack. She is still struggling. And I'm extremely stressed right now, but I'm on a verge of a mental breakdown. Don't know if I can do this anymore. Meaning they got less than a 3.5 GPA, let's say. Consider post-bac or master's programs. It's very common. And we work with a lot of students at the pre-med consultants that have to do a post-bac or special master's program. So what are these programs and what's the differences and when should you consider actually doing one? So in general, if you have never done well academically as a pre-med student and you, or you decide later on in life that you wanna be a pre-med student, then you're gonna need to do one of these programs or at the very least should consider one. If you've done pre-med and you really only got C's and B's, it might be a good idea to consider one to make yourself a stronger applicant. Can you get into medical school if you don't do one and you have like a 3-2 GPA? Yes, you can. And if you get a good MCAT score and everything else looks great, you can definitely get into a school. But if you just look at the data, you're not going to be in a good position to apply to medical school and to get in if you don't have a strong GPA or at the very least a good upward trend so that the last 30 or so credit hours that you've taken, you've gotten close to A's in your classes. So what I recommend when thinking about doing a post back and let's get into what a post back actually is. So those are classes that you're going to take after you graduated. So they're post bachelorate classes. And depending on what you do, they'll either be factored into your undergraduate GPA if it's just a post back or some students will do a master's program where if you're getting master a master's, it's graduate level coursework and then it won't be factored into your uh, undergraduate GPA, it's going to go into a, spe a separate graduate GPA when applying to medical school. In general, most students will benefit from a post back program, and there are different types of post back programs. One might be a grade enhancing post back program. So really the goal of doing that program is to, to retake or go retake biochem if you've done poorly in them and show that you can actually excel in those classes. And then you'll sometimes take upper level science classes as well. So for example, anatomy and physiology, immunology, microbiology classes that if you do well in will look good for med in in medical school applications because those are the same types of classes that you're going to be taking in medical school. So sometimes those are integrated into a post back program. Now there are two types of post back programs in general. One is a formal post back or you can do your own post back. And that would really be just taking classes at any college, whether it's community college, whether it's a private institution or a state institution near you, you're enrolling as a non degree seeking student. You're not trying to actually get another degree there, but you're just taking classes at that school to show that you could do well. The reason post backs are generally better as well is because they're the same types of classes that pre-meds take. So some students will take master's classes, for example, public health classes, or you do a public health master's and you think that that's gonna look good for medical school to improve your GPA. But medical schools aren't gonna look as highly upon that if you've never done well in an orgo class, a biochem class, a gen chem class, but then you get this 3.7 or 4.0 public health degree, or sorry, public health master's, and you're like, well, now I'm ready for medical school. No, 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 no. You need to show these schools that you can handle the hard coursework that you're going to take as a medical student, which means either redoing your pre-med classes or taking upper level classes such as anatomy, physiology, and those ones I've previously mentioned. Now that brings us to a special master's program. So special master's programs are basically a year long masters where you're taking essentially the first year of medical school. So you're taking these types of classes, anatomy and phys, microbiology, immunology, etc. And you actually will get the master's degree. So those grades will not go towards your undergraduate GPA, but they'll actually be just separate in your graduate GPA. Now, this is a good program for someone who's got maybe like a 3.4, 3.5, did okay in their sciences throughout, doesn't really have high upward trend where they feel com comfortable applying right now, but they just want to show that they can really excel in these types of classes and enhance their applications. So that would be the type of student that a special master's would be good at, good for. And regardless, you can do a special master's, you can do a post back in the end, both are doing the same goal, which is to show admissions committees that you're, you can excel in hard academic 
classes. I generally tend to recommend to students to do post back programs. They could be more flexible. Sometimes they're cheaper, depending on which one you do. And also though that those grades will be factored into not only your post back GPA, but into your undergraduate GPA as well. So it can actually improve that GPA that goes on your application. And the last reason to do a post back, which I didn't really mention a lot in this video was you're a student who decided later on in life, you actually wanted to become a doctor. Therefore, if you do a post back, you could actually get the pre-med recs in, in about two years, sometimes a little bit quicker than that. Take the MCAT, hopefully you get some experience along the way as well. So that way you can then apply and have a strong application without actually have to go back and do an entire four year bachelor's degree again. So that would be another reason that a student would do a post back. If you're listening to this and you're non-traditional and you realize later on in life, you want to do a post back program and go to medical school after that, apply to medical school and get in, well, then that would be a great option. You wouldn't be able to do just a special master's program because then you wouldn't have all the prereqs in. So if you want help figuring this out and you want help throughout the entire process, how to choose which post back you want to go into, should you do a special master's instead, how to excel in those classes on the MCAT and optimize your application, then you can click the link below this video and schedule a call with me or my team. We have an entire program that will go through all of this. We also have a free training that tells you how to properly do well in your classes and study for the MCAT that many students have used to absolutely crush it. So you could check that out below this video as well, and I'll see you in the next one.